Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Button Clicking Simulator. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm, I was just mocking the fact that my controller was so fucking loud. So, last time I made the uh, incredible, definitely not mistake, of going to Kraid first. Which is possible without the ledge grab. The problem is I am addicted to the ledge grab. And probably... Definitely could not clear that sector without said power up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, uh, now we're trying to get back. Okay. There we go. So basically, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to walk all the way back. I'll see if I'll make you sit through it, depending on how much shit I talk. And then we're going to go to Norfair. You know, the fucking place we were supposed to be. Because it is possible. I'm just clearly not skilled enough to get through Kraid first. Anything that you would normally need the ledge grab or high jump for, you could easily fucking do with uh, with an infinite bomb jump. But, as I've explained in the last episode, I just, I don't work with the infinite bomb jump. And I have no idea why. It's just like, your YouTuber is not compatible with this power up. That's that's not what we need to go. That mm, that's completely wrong. By the actually, let's open up that save point just so we have it on the map. Not that we're gonna use it anyways, but I completely forgot to put my fucking cursor out of the picture again. It's just like I'm so used to playing things in full screen with my cursor invisible. I don't fucking notice when my cursor is in the screen. Okay. I mean, I should, but I don't. So this is where we were supposed to go, where the fucking statue pointed us, and it is also where I did not go. Also, I'm getting fucking blinded by the, by the light again. Great, great. It's also where I did, where I did not go, and as you, were see, as you saw, there is no skull there. There is the cutscene that we we're supposed to see. <gasps> Evil dangerous. That was the wrong way again. Um, some funny background stuff, actually. When the Chozo saved Samus from her space station when she was attacked. Oh, come on. They put her on Zebes. I mean, they let her live on Zebes, basically. And Mother Brain, at that time, was, suppo was on Zebes and was supposed to be, like this big AI that immortalizes the history of the Chozo. Because the Chozo knew they were dying, right? And Mother Brain was like, what the fuck, guys? This is a human child. She's going to die within days on this planet. So she was the one from the way I have it in memory, from the mangas. She was the one that actually infused Samus with the Chozo DNA and made her compatible with the power suit. From what I know. I'm not sure if she was given the power suit by Mother Brain. But I'm because I, I think the, the Chozo later gave her the suit. But basically, she was infused with, uh, with Chozo DNA to make her more adaptable and more survivable for, you know, the harsh area that is Planet Zebes. And yes, I literally just told you that because I needed something to say during that interesting sequence right then. And I just think it's incredibly funny. It's basically Mother Brain's fault that Samus is even still alive. And now what Samus does is she comes and kicks Mother Brain's ass because Fucking Mother Brain's trying to keep herself alive, so she started working with the, with the space pirates. That's the item. This exact item is what I need. Not that I'm gonna be a good player because I have it. I'm just saying that it's a really fucking cool, uh, cool item. Yo, 
You could wall jump up there, but I, I, I can't. There we- Oh, yes. Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes. Slather it on me. What? Slather it on me. What the fuck? Wait, what? I shouldn't have said that. Oh, God. That's gonna get taken way out of context, isn't it? I mean, if you're watching the video, you have the context, but I, I have this stupid feeling I'm gonna... I'm gonna be hearing that sentence a lot in the Discord later on. So this section here of Criteria didn't actually exist in the original Metroid game. Obviously, that's where you would go in Super Metroid. That's why that is blocked off here. It was just later added when, obviously, Zero Mission was released after Super Metroid, and this section of Criteria was just later added to make the world seem more believable and more, you know, like it's one world and you're not just going to a new planet. Obviously, they had to do that because at the beginning of Super Metroid, you go through the ruins of the old Mother Brain room that you, you know, blow the fuck up in this game. So had they not added it, it would be kind of like, wait, what? That never existed. Hold up. Ah, great. We don't necessarily need to go there, go here. But we can and we get some missiles for it. Then we can also go back and get the missiles exactly one tile above us. Because those were the ones that we just ran by, that was why I didn't even attempt to pick those up, because those are only accessible by um, by having the power grip or using an infinite bomb jump. And I'm not going to repeat myself, so obviously we need the power grip to get it. Oh shit, he survived a little more than I was expecting, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Oh, okay, you just stop up there. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Should have picked up the health, but um, I didn't, so deal with it, I guess. We're not going to save because I'm cocky as fuck as usual. That was a save room where I, lock, where I basically locked myself for a, wh a while ago. Well, a little while ago. It wasn't really that long. Because I had the genius idea of saving there with a grand, grand total of 13 health. And once you... Go, go away, Ripper. Once you see the segment that follows next, you're gonna know why that was an incredibly bad idea. Imagine the la uh, little lava thing there, or where I fell down. I, I used to fall down there a lot. And I probably still do. There we go, with the ice beam. That jump right there, uh, the lower one. I fall down that all the time. And that with 13 health for me? Hell no! Nah. So there's the introduction of green doors. Green doors are opened with the super missiles. So obviously we don't have those yet, so obviously we can't open those yet. That should be a save room. There we go. Obviously, you could have wall jumped up that, but, uh, you know, wall jumping requires you to be a semi-competent player, and, uh, that isn't me, if you haven't noticed, somehow, still not. I am not even a semi-competent player. And now it wants us to go back to Kraid. Because now we have the ledge grab, now we have the ice beam to get rid of freeze rippers, and now it obviously wants us to beat the shit out of Kraid. Because that's how you do things. You just spam them full of missiles, and, and that's good. Feed him those missiles for breakfast. So here's obviously another room that you could have never passed before. I, I still don't manage to pass it. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to take damage there, but okay. Now we'll want to freeze him there, because there's an item. And we obviously want the item.
Now, I believe there's something behind that wall, but again, I'm not sure on how to get it, so I'm not even going to attempt. Now we can just freeze these fuckers and basically make them completely irrelevant. And here's something else cool. Well, it's not really cool, it's kind of common knowledge, but... Go, oh, you're free. Boom. You might run past that if you didn't pay attention. If you never, like, tried to jump up here, you don't even have it uncovered on your map. So I just thought I'd show it off. And obviously we need the missiles. Well, we want the missiles. We don't, technically speaking, need the missiles. I'm just a scrub, so... I am just a scrub, so having those missiles is, is gonna be nice. All right. I completely forgot we can't look uh, look uh, up and down and shoot missiles at the same time. I don't know why. I don't know if that's a problem with the emulator or the game. I could find that out, obviously, if I just, you know, did the thing and... Oh, okay. Did I mention I'm a smart boy? There we go. What was I on about again? I keep fucking forgetting. No, you're not gonna open up yet, obviously. Because that's no fair and, I have to, and I'd have to be beat, beat Ridley and, you know, the usual. Right, I was on about, uh... Aiming up and down and shooting at the same time. Congrats. We could probably climb up there, but uh, if I just switch the controls over to PC keyboard and mouse, I was gonna say keyboard and mouse, but hell no. If I just switch the control over to uh, PC there, keyboard, I probably could test that, but I'm quite frankly just too lazy to do that, and so I'm not gonna do that. Obviously, because that's how things work when you're too lazy to do them. They don't. We seriously almost at 15 minutes again, for fuck's sake. Are you telling me we're going to save at the same goddamn save station in Crate again? Well, well, well. Make the viewer feel like you're making progress, they said. Actually, nobody actually told me that, I just, you know, you'd want to do that. Oh great, I need, mm, it's gonna be a speedball, and I don't want speedballs, no thank you. Because quite frankly, nobody wants to watch someone be stuck in a, uh, uh, or not stuck in this case, but just have the feeling that someone is stuck at the same place for like three episodes straight. It just, it's stupid. You should, you should do it in one recording and cut everything out at some point when you get stuck somewhere like 20 fucking times. Just have your most interesting or your most frustrating attempts in there. Everything else, not necessary. Cut it. Just don't cut it. Maybe when you're raging, you can keep that in, but for the most part, you don't want that. Okay, well, we're gonna enter Kraid. We only have, like, a few minutes, then we're over the, over the 15 minutes. I know the last video was 17 minutes as well, but... I, I can't... I keep forgetting that I can't look, look up, up and down and shoot missiles at the same time. It's so bad. Probably gonna get through this room, then check for the next save station, and then leave. But anyways, we're gonna grab, grab these rockets first. This was basically the jump that I got really frustrated on earlier. I tried to do this without the ledge grab, and I'm sure you can. I just can't. I got I got really pissed off. This one is also incredibly fantastic. 
I mean, this entire uh, sector without ledge grab is just a complete clusterfuck, honestly. I have a f yeah, I was about to say, I have a feeling something's gonna happen there. Oh my god. I want to get in there. I am getting in there. Is basically what I'm trying to say. There we go. That should do it. Probably would have been faster to just try. Hello, go to the side when I tell you. Probably would have been faster to just use the ball there, but I. So now we're basically powering up these. An idea that the creator of AM2R later borrowed with the Morph Ball can power things up. And there's another energy tank, you know. Reducing our risk of dying even more. And then there's a save point at 16 minutes. Boom. And this time we're not getting sidetracked because there's clearly no holes in the wall. Save complete. As always, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, probably be a while until this is out because... Well, no, actually, no, no, no. I have no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to edit. But anyways, that's my problem. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you liked it, there's a button for that. If you didn't like it, there's a button for that as well. As there should be. And if you want to see more, you know, there's, there's, the, there's the, 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 the big red button that, that, that makes you hear more of my stuttering. <laughs> Feel free to slap that and hope you see you all in the next time. Have a fantastic day. Later.